Mods here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna cover some cool effects and masking tricks that you can apply to your projects in Vegas Pro. These tricks will make your videos look more professional and slick. Now without further delay, let's hop into Vegas and break everything down. So we're here in Vegas now and I've got my project over here, but before we do anything, I wanna show you what masking is all about. Masking is basically covering certain parts of your clip to either completely hide it or overlay another video clip below it as you can see here. Now we have to ask ourselves a question, how can we use this in our project? To utilize this in my project, as you can see here I have a sniper scope. What I can essentially do is basically cut around this sniper scope in order to add like a background blur to the scope. And now to do that, step one, let's go to our video track over here, right click on it and press duplicate track. So we have two video events here of the same video. Now we have to find the exact moment that I opened the scope. So using my arrow keys to move either to the right or to the left, I can exactly see where my scope is completely open, which is over here. Now let's split the first video clip right here and delete this part. And now let's go to exactly where I shoot. So right here and cut this part over here and delete it. So essentially I have two layers now of the same video clip and one is only where I have my scope open. Now let me make this bigger so you can see it more. Now step two is to mask around the scope. Now let's go to this pan crop icon over here and click it on our top layer. Now make sure sync cursor is selected here and then go to mask and press the checkbox. And now we essentially need to keyframe the mask. So basically let's go to this first keyframe over here and as you can see at the top left here in tools, you have rectangle uh, or squares, you have uh, oval or circle masks. Now, for my scope, it's a circle shape, but let me show you what you can do. Let's say you have a square that you want to mask. So you can just select the square here and then hold and drag and it will select um, certain aspects of your clip based on a square shape. And now you can adjust these points to make it bigger smaller you can do whatever you want with it now let me just reset this because we need a circle so go to oval or circle mask creation tool and let's just draw a circle here as you can see it doesn't fit perfectly to our scope so we need to adjust these points for it to be exactly on my scope so you can hold these points and move them Perfect, now it's the perfect shape for my scope. Now let's go to the end keyframe right here. Now because certain elements of the clip changes and everything moves, we need to readjust these points at certain frames. So let's go back and readjust them. There we go. And to get everything perfect, we can go ahead and go back to our first keyframe. And then using our arrow keys, we can move around the clip, see if everything is perfectly in place. As you can see right here on this keyframe, it's like slightly off-centered. So let's go back and fix this point. There we go. Now moving to the end of our clip. We can see that everything is in frame. Now depending on your clip, you might have to adjust this more. And now to see what we did here in our preview window, let's go ahead and mute the bottom track now. And as you can see, only the parts of the video inside our mask circle here appear. But as you notice, there's a bit of the outside of the scope showing here. So we can go back to our point here and readjust this. As you can see, it changes in the preview window. There we go. Now we can go back to certain elements of the clip and fix everything that can be fixed here. But for this certain clip, I want to mask the inside of the circle instead of the outside. It will all make sense once we add the blur to the background. So to easily invert it, we can go to every individual point we added here. Let's go to this first point over here, expand path here, and switch mode from positive to negative. As you can see here, it's flipped the overall mask. So inside the circle is now masked, but the outside is not. So let's do that for every point here. Boom, simple as that. And now we can add some feather to our mask to smooth out the edges over here. So to do that, we can go back to our path window over here and feather type, switch it to either in, out, or both. Now I wanna use in for this one. And for feather percentage, let me do like a 2% feather over here. There you go. If you notice, it smoothed out the borders of my scope here. Now let's do the same for the rest of the points here. So feather type in, feather percentage 2%. And finally for the last point, And now once we have everything set up, we're ready to close this window. And now we essentially have two layers in our clip. One is for the scope 
alone and one is for the outskirts of the scope in order to add the blur in. Now to add the blur we can go to video effects here and search up Gaussian blur. Now let's drag the default template to the upper layer here and as you can see it applied the blur. Now let's just reduce this a bit to like 0.02 maybe on both vertical and horizontal. There you go. And to see the magic happen now let's unmute this bottom track over here and boom. As you can see the blur is only applied to the background of the scope. And the reason for that is our clip now is essentially two separate clips. One only shows the scope and one only shows the background. As you can see here you can mess with the mute button and see which is contributing to which. So our upper layer over here is only the blur to the background and the bottom layer is the scope with everything. Now let's watch the full video and see how everything looks. Absolutely perfect, but I'd like to add a smooth fade to my blur because as you can see here if we go a frame before the actual blur It's an instant so to add a fade we can just add a fade to the whole clip and as you can see here It smoothly transitions to the blur. Let's watch it again and see how it looks now So now there's a small delay with a smooth transition to when my blur appears And now we can add another transition at the end here in order to fade out the blur now quickly keyframing some pan crop to zoom in when I open the scope, we finally get this. And that's how you can create stunning effects with masking in Vegas Pro. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more creative editing tips. See you in the next one.